Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The recipe that I'm sharing with you today is an authentic chicken and potato style curry and we'll run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need are four onions which I've sliced, I have four tomatoes which I've diced here, I have 600 grams of chicken breast which I've cubed, I have two medium baking potatoes which I've sliced into chunks, I have four tablespoons of oil here and the following ingredients I have are half a tablespoon each of salt, chilli powder, coriander powder and garam masala. I have half a teaspoon of turmeric powder here, one frozen piece of ginger and garlic. I have four green chilies which I've sliced lengthways and I have a half a tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves. So let's start cooking. So get the pot that you're using to cook in nice and hot. Then straight in with the oil. And then in with your onions. And you want to fry these until they have a really nice golden brown colour, which is going to take approximately six to eight minutes. So once that's done, I'll show you how it looks. In the meantime, put the lid on and leave them to cook, but keep stirring them occasionally. So just coming back to check on this, it's been cooking away for about seven to eight minutes. And the onions have taken on a really nice light brown colour. Like that. And we can now add the ginger garlic paste into this and the salt and the tomatoes. That a stir. Now, what I forgot to mention was um, you will need a little bit of water which I've just taken from my um, boiled kettle here and I put it into this jug um, and we just need to add that in that will just help sort of like um, soften the tomatoes and allow them to cook nicely. So we're going to pop the lid back on again, turn the gas to a medium to low flame and allow that to cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it and see how it's looking. So just coming back to check on this, it's been cooking away for about 10 minutes. And the tomatoes have softened up really nicely. And we can just add the rest of the ingredients in. So in with the turmeric powder, the chilli, coriander powder, and the garam masala as well. So just give that a stir. And then what you want to do is just add a little bit more water into this and then pop the lid back on and we're now going to cook this masala down until uh, the oil starts to separate and come to the surface and I'll show you exactly how it looks once um, it reaches that stage. So this has now been cooking away for about 10 minutes and I'm just going to check on this. and it's reduced down really nicely. The oil has started to separate and we can now add the chicken into this. And just stir that in. And then lid back on again and we're going to cook this 
for about 25 to 30 minutes but we're going to be checking it in between and if we need to we need to add um, water into this as well ever so slightly just so it doesn't catch at the bottom and just keep a constant eye on it for the next 25 to 30 minutes and I'll show you exactly how uh, that looks once it's done so just checking up on this now it's been about 30 minutes it's been cooking away I have been keeping an eye on it and that's how it looks now what you want to do is you want to bun this so cook it for a further 10 minutes without the lid which I'm going to do now so I've been cooking this now for about 10 minutes and I'm now going to add the potatoes into this And we're going to cook this now for a further 10 to 15 minutes. Again, adding a little water into this as and when we need it. And once it's done, I'll show you how it looks. So guys, I've been cooking this for about 10 minutes, um, adding water little by little uh, when it's stuck to the bottom. And I'm now going to add the sliced green chilies into this and just stir them through and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more water to this not a lot but just a little bit and then lid on and I'm going to allow that to simmer away for about 15 minutes uh, on a low to medium heat and just let the potatoes cook through now and um, give it a really nice sort of like thick um, masala um, but not too dry just slightly runny but not too dry and I'll show you how that looks once that's cooked so this has been cooking away now for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm just going to add the final ingredient in, which is the dried fenugreek. So take it between the palms of your hands and just crush the leaves. And that just gives it more flavour to the dish. And then just gently stir that through. I'm just gonna leave that on the heat for about two minutes just so that the uh, fenugreek sort of like flavour infuses into the dish and then I'll plate it up and show you exactly how it looks. Right guys I'm gonna tuck into this now and tell you exactly how it is. So there's a bit of chicken, a bit of potato and a bit of masala in there. Mmm so good mm. this is like how your mum's make it at home proper true authentic style chicken and potato curry do try the recipe out I'm sure you're gonna love it and in the meantime if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do so hit that bell button to be notified of any updates and I will be back with another recipe very soon till then take care happy cooking